I am making a branded Despia decker file. I really like this deck. It is incomplete at the moment. So as I'm going through, I'll say what I will be changing out once I acquire them. Anyway, starting off with the monsters. I play the one copy of Despian Comedy and two copies of Despian Tragedy. Comedy is, is using this deck so that you can uh, kind of prevent cards like Infinite Permanence and Effect Veiler from stopping your fusion monsters like Lebellion. When it's, its effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a face-up Despian monster or monsters you control, you can send it from your hand to the grave to negate that effect, and if it's in your graveyard, you as a quick effect, you can tribute one, you can tribute one fusion monster, especially on itself. So if you go activate Lu Albion's effect, and your opponent tries to imperm or Valor it, you can chain Comedy's effect, tributing that Albion to zone itself back in defense. So that, and then Albion won't be negated because it wasn't on the field when the card resolved. And then, whoops, I accidentally touched the camera. My bad. And then, comedy has the effect of if it's sent from, if it's sent to the grave or banished, you can, by a card effect, you can then add one Despia monster from your deck to your hand other than another tragedy. And you can banish it from your graveyard to then target one branded spar trap that's in your graveyard and set it to your field. So it also, not only does it let you search for a Despian monster when it goes to the grave, but it also lets you recycle some of your branded cards. Then I play three copies of Spriggan's Kit. Kit is a free summon if you control a fusion monster that lists Fallen of Alvest's material while it's on your field or in your grave. And then when it's normal or special summoned, you can then Add one branded spell or trap from your deck to your hand, and then put one card from your hand back into the deck. So, one of the things that I plan on adding to this deck is one copy of the Light Hexial Fusion. So, if, if I were to open that, I, and by having kit, I can summon kit, search for branded fusion, and then put the Light Hexial Fusion back in the deck. So, this just helps to get cards in hand that you don't want in hand to be back in the deck. Then I play three copies of Fallen of Albaz. I know most branded Despia decks only play two, but I feel like normal summoning Albaz still isn't that big of an issue. And I actually like Albaz at three, but it has the effect of when it's some normal or special summoned, you can discard one card, fusion summon, one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters on either field, but you can't use monsters on your side of the field other than itself. And just the amount of uh, fusions in your extra deck they acquire following Valbaz, that just makes this card very good. Because you can just use your opponent stuff. Then I play two copies of Albion the Shrouded Dragon. This is, I'd be taking these two out for Alibur, Jester, Despia, as well as one of the two Ad Lividums of Despia. So. One I live in, and both Albions are just placeholders for Albion. Or Albion. Are placeholders for Alubur, I mean. But Albion, the Shadow Dragon, has the effect of its name is tree is fallen of Alvaz on the field or in the graveyard. And then, once per turn, you can send one uh, branded card from your feet hand or deck to the grave to then activate one of its two effects while it's in your hand or in the graveyard. And that is, if you send a branded card from your hand, you can summon it, or if you send a branded card from the deck to the grave, then you can put it at the bottom of your deck. If the bottom of your deck. But I just like it because it can be a free 2500 body just by getting rid of a Despia card in your hand that you don't can't really use. And then Ad Libidum has the effect uh, during the main phase you can make all monsters on the field gain one to attack times their level. But the main thing that's used for is its effect when it's used as fusion material from a hand or field or is banished. That being that if it's used as any of those, then you target one Despia monster or one level eight 
or higher fusion monster that's banished or in your graveyard, except for another copy of itself. And then special summon it. You can only use each effect of Des of Ad Libido or Despio once per turn. Then I play two copies of Dramaturge of Despia. I like Dramaturge just because Dramaturge has the effect of if a monster is fusion, synchro, XZs, or Link summoned, then you can activate its effect, target one monster, make sure we want readers to be safe. You can target one effect monster on the field, negates effects till the end of the turn. And then if it's used as fusion material from the hand, field, or banished, then it just special summons itself. I actually really like Dramaturge, even though I haven't really seen many Brandon Despia decks playing it. I like it at two, but I feel like three is too many. Then I play one copy of Artifact Scythe, just because of how, because of some of the cards I'm playing, even though I'm not doing the Scythe loop or lock, whatever it's called, you can still use Scythe multiple times in this deck with the way I build it. But Artifact Scythe just says you can set it to Spell and Trap Zone, if it's, if it's destroyed, in spell and trap zone, or you can then special summon it, and if it's special summon, your opponent's locked out of that extra deck for their turn, or their extra deck from the turn. Then for the hand traps, I play three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, just to prevent anything that moves a card from deck to grave, hand, or summoning. Three copies of Ghost Ogre to destroy. Uh, a monster on the field that's activates effect, or when your opponent activates the effect of a spell or trap that's already face up on the field. Then I play three copies of Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion just to negate cards that would move from the grave, such as banishing from grave, returning from grave to hand or deck, or summoning uh, from a grave, mainly because of destroy your feelings and force her. And that is it for the monsters. The only other thing I would change for this is possibly taking out Scythe and three of the trap cards. Or for, well, I Hex Seal Fusion, but I'll probably just take out one of the two traps. Starting off with the spells, I play two copies of Brand of Lost. I like this card because it prevents your opponent from, it's essentially a magical meltdown, but it says the activation of your cards and effects that would, er, that include the effect of a fusion summon, a fusion monster cannot be negated, nor can your opponent activate cards or effects when a monster is fusion summoned this or that way. So essentially what this does is if you have this active and you summon Albion, then your opponent can't try to negate it because Brandon Lost prevents your opponent from doing anything until after it's been fusion summoned. And since Albion's effect is a non-summon effect, they have to wait for that to resolve before they can do anything to it. But its other effect is if you fusion summon let's see if you fusion summon a fusion monster, you can add one fallen of Albaz or one monster that mentions mentions fallen of Albaz from your deck to your hand. So I like this because it can also be used to search for a Spriggan's kit. And then I play two copies of Despia, Theater of the Branded. It has the effect that during the main phase you can fusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck by using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. And then if a face-up non-fusion fairy monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can target one level 8 or higher fusion monster in your graveyard. <laughs> The uh, Despia Theater's other branded Zeller effect, since I was interrupted by one of the dogs that decided it'd be good to bark. Its other effect is if, I'm, well, if a non fusion fairy monster is destroyed by battle, then you can special summon a fusion monster in your graveyard. So if you, had to, if you set Despian Comedy and comedy, comedy dies, then you can bring back a Masquerade of the Blazing Dragon, for example. Then I play three copies of Branded Opening. Branded Opening, I feel like it's one of the best cards to open in this deck since I'm un unable to play Alivar at the moment. 
But it's the fact is you can discard one card and then take a Despia monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. In defense position, and for the rest of the turn, you can after it resolves, you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck other than fusion, which is fine because the deck's entire extra deck is fusion. And then if a fusion monster you control be or monster monster or monsters will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish from your grave instead. So it's just more protection. You can only use each effect once per turn. So that just means if you have two random opening in grave, then you can't you banish a save twice, I believe. Then I play three copies of Branded in Red. I might cut this jet card down to two. I don't know, because I just like it yeah, at three. At the very moment, at least. Because, again, I'm not playing Alibers. So maybe when I get Alibers, I'll cut Branded and Red down to two. And then just take the third one out for the Light Hexseal Fusion. But Brand Branded and Red has the effect of you can target one Despia monster or Fallen Valpaz in your graveyard at your hand. And then you can apply its effect to Fusion Summon it. One level eight or higher fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your hand or field, but cannot attack directly this turn. So I always like this card because of how you can add a Despia monster from grave to hand. If you have two monsters in play or or one monster in play and another card in ha monster in hand, then you can make a Guardian Chimera with it at, on your opponent's turn. Or what I like to do with it is end up making. Uh, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon or Despian Quartus when I know my opponent's not playing a fusion based deck. Then I play three copies of Branded Fusion. I've heard a lot of people saying this card needs to get banned, but I feel like it isn't this card needs to get banned, but rather card, a card either Red Eyes Dark Dragoon or Albion the Branded Dragon. More likely the Dragoon than Albion. But essentially this card just lets you fusion summon a fusion monster that lists or that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material from your extra deck by using two monsters from your hand, deck, or field. But you can all, but when you activate resolve it, you can only fusion summon from the extra deck, and you can activate one brand of fusion per turn. But the main reason I've seen people don't like this card is because of how they can fuse Albaz with the like seal fusion. To then summon Albion, and then Albion's effect banishes those two to summon a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. I feel like that could easily be fixed, though, if the Light Hexial Fusion were to be reprinted with a new effect of can only be substituted for one fusion mon monster material that is a light monster. So, like, in order to substitute for Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, you'd have to use the, the Dark Hexial Fusion. Essentially, just things like that. It might fix it, it might not. Then I play three copies of Super Polymerization, because again, the amount of cards in your extra decks that require Fallen of Albaz are surprisingly high and easy to use your opponent's monsters with. It's also given the mirror match because of one of the extra deck monsters. Who knows, maybe I'll end up taking these out once I get the other cards that are supposed to be in here. But for now, this is what I'm playing. And that is it for the spells. Moving on to the traps. I play two copies of Branded Retribution. This is one of the cards I was thinking about taking out for the Light Hex Seal Fusion. But Branded Retribution has the effect of when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated that includes an effect to special summon a monster. Return to the extra deck one face up fusion monster you control or two fusion monsters in your graveyard that mention Fallen of Albaz as material to negate the activation if you destroy that card. And then you can banish Branded Retribution from your graveyard to then uh, target one branded card in your graveyard other than itself and add it back to your hand. And then you can, but you can only use each Branded Retribution effect once per turn. I believe. You can only use one random retribution effect per return and only one. So you can either activate its negation or its return. You can't activate both in the same turn. And then to finish off the deck, I play the three copies of Back to the Front. This is just so that you can activate Albion's or summon. 
Which one was it? Was it Albion or Rebellion? Nope. Slayers like this card because when, when you have an artifact scythe engrave, you can just activate it back to the front on your opponent's turn, bring back a scythe, and lock them out of their extra deck. But this just lets you target one monster engrave, especially in a defense position. And that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the uh, extra deck. There are four cards that I'll be adding to the extra deck. Or I guess I should say you're placing four others in my extra deck. But starting off, since I'm playing Super Poly, I do play the one copy of Draco Stapelia for Invoked or Mirror Matches. Draco Stapelia just needing one Fusion Monster and a Dark Monster. So I feel that's not hard to do, especially if you're fight facing a Fusion based deck. But I like this card because it has the effect of monsters that have prior counters, have their activated effects negated. And then once per turn, quick effect, you can target one monster your opponent controls and give it, give it a prior counter. And all a prior counter does is make the monster level two, 1 if it's a lot higher than level 2 and make it dark. Then I play 3 copies of Albion the Branded Dragon. Albion just requires Fallen Valve as an elite monster, but has the effect of if it's fusion summoned, you can fusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from your great field, I believe field or graveyard is what it said, hand field or graveyard. And during your end phase, if Albion is in the graveyard because it was sent there that turn, you can set, you can add your hand or set one branded spell trap in your deck. So typically during the if it's sent to the graveyard during your end phase, you'll typically set a branded in red if you have a Despia or Alvaz engrave. Otherwise, you'd probably just search uh, branded fusion. Then I play two copies of Titanic Clad, the Ash Dragon. I'll probably take these two out for two copies of Guardian Chimera. But Titanic Clad, the Ash Dragon, has the effect of a gains attack equal to. The combined original levels of all the mentioned, or all the monsters that are used for its fusion summoning. This is just requires an Alabaz and a monster with 2500 more attack. That's going to be 4 plus whatever the other monster is. Typically, I'll end up using with Red Eyes Dark, or, yeah, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon or Fusion Enforcer. Or Fusion Enforcer. Phoenix Enforcer. Which would give an additional 1200 attack. But the main thing is, if it's during the end phase, if it was sent to the graveyard, it lets you search for, what was it? Search or special on a Fallen of Alvaz or Dogmatica monster from your deck. You can only use each effect of Titanic Lad, the Ash Dragon once per turn. I'll probably be taking it out because of how you don't play any Dogmaticas in this deck. And by the time you summon Alvaz, you're probably not really going to be using its effect of Fusion Sun. Then I play one copy of Brygrand, the Glory Dragon. This will be taken out for another Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. But Brygrand has the effect of it can't be destroyed in battle, so if you need to, you can have a 2,000 defense body. And then while you control this fusion summon card, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with monster effects. So I do like it because of how your opponent can't really affect Valor since they can't target other things. And then it has the effect during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special on one Tri Brigade monster or one Fawn of Alabaz from your deck. And you can only use e this effect of Bright Grand the Glory Dragon once per turn. Again, I probably taking it out because I don't play Tri Brigade, or by the time I use that effect, it probably, I probably have already used Alabaz or don't have cards in hand. Then I play two copies of Despian Quiritus. I'll probably take out the second Quiritus for Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. But I like this card a lot, especially when I've known I'm not facing fusion monsters. So, like, uh, what was the one of the decks that some of my friends like to play that is on fusion based? Like, one of my friends likes to play Red Dragon Archfiend or Utopia or Galaxy Eyes. 
The SP and Query test has the quick effect during the main phase. You can change the attack of all monsters on the field to zero. And the only monsters that aren't affected by its effect are level 8 or higher fusion monsters. And then its other ability is if this card, face up card you control, leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. The Aquarius has the effect of when it's destroyed by an opponent's card while in your possession, then you can special summon one Fallen Valvaz or Desiccated Monster from your. You can add to your hand to special summon one Fallen Valvaz or Desiccated Monster from your deck, so. What I like to do is, if I have a card in hand, if it dies, mm -hmm. I'll then special summon a Fallen Alabaster from my deck. And you get effective fusion summon using the opponent's card. Or I would, can start summon a Dramaturge or Ad Libitum, just to get them out of the deck. Then I play two copies of Lubellion the Searing Dragon. Lubellion has the effect of, if it's fusion summoned, you can discard one card, fusion summon a level 8 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, except for another copy of itself. By shuffling fusion materials there from it from your er, on it into your deck from your monsters on your field, graveyard, and or it's up banished. So one thing I like to do is I'll ref uh, recycle my fusion monsters. So if I've already used the effect of Albion, then I'll put Albion and a Fawn of Alvaz back to then summon another uh, Albion, as long as I had another one already in the extra deck. And I don't remember if it has any other cards, effects. Uh, let's see. And then for the rest of the turn, this card cannot attack. Also, your opponent. You cannot switch the monsters in your deck except for fusion monsters. But I was like Lubellion because of how it is technically a, an, an extender that recycles your resources. Then I play two copies of Mirror Jade the Ice Blade Dragon. I really like this card because of how it's a non targeting banishing. But its only requirement is that you use Fawn of Alvaz with a Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link monster. But its ability is just, you can only control one copy of it. And if you use its effect, then you can't activate its effect again until the end of the next turn. But it has the quick effect of, you can send one... Fusion monster that lists Fawn of Alvaz from your deck to the graveyard to then banish one face up monster on the field. And don't remember if there's any other fix other than that. Okay, and then if this fusion summon card leaves the field because of an opponent's card, then during the end phase, destroy all their monsters. But the fun part of Mirror Jade's effect is if Mirror Jade leaves the field and then it comes back, you can technically use its effect again. Just because this time it's technically treated as a different card. If, and that's if I'm understanding that correctly. Which I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not. And then for the last card I play the one copy of Despian Proskenian. This one I like a lot just because it has during the main phase quick effect. You can target one fusion, synchro, exes, or link monster in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it or special summon it to your field. So I was like this because of how I can actually... In the mirror match, if I take out a Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, I can summon Preskinian to then summon their Masquerade to my field. Also in the mirror match, it is a decent uh, super poly target. And then its other ability is when this card destroys an opponent's monster in battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack or defense, whichever is higher, and they can only use each effect of Despian Preskinian once per turn. So that is it for my branded desk deck profile. If you have any ideas of what I can do to improve the deck or any ideas of decks I can see me make or decks I can see face each other, feel free to comment that those below. Thanks for watching.